Hello, this is Jessica. I'm the Director of Communications for the 3D Business Launch Model, created by Gene Irwin. Gene will be with us in just a few minutes, but he asked that I introduce to you his topic in today's live video series, 10 Mini Steps to Starting a Home Business. Be sure to download a copy of the associated guide entitled, The Ultimate Guide to Your Own Home Business, by clicking on the link shown in the video. If you would like to contact us at the 3D Business Launch Model, either call us at 800-750-8767 or email us at gene at 3-dblm.com. In this mini-step series, Gene will also post them live on the web later in the month. These steps include the following topics. 1. Passion for your business. 2. Which business is for you? 3. Does the market need your business? 4. How large is your market? 5. What are your barriers to market entry? 6. Who are your competitors? 7. Solve clients' needs. 8. Your competitive advantage. 9. Which skills are you lacking? 10. Licensing issues. This 10 mini steps series also contains three bonus topics. A. Your business owner's critical questions. B. Your business's SWOT analysis. C. Shark Tank's key indicators. Thanks for watching. I know that Gene is excited to share this material with you now and over the next several days. Be sure to download any videos that he has produced and recommended to include for this short training program. Now, here's Gene Irwin. Hello, this is Gene Irwin, the founder of the 3D Business Launch Model here today to talk to you about 10 mini steps in a series I call 10 mini steps to start a home-based business. It's designed to be very brief, just to introduce you to some of the concepts that my customers, my clients take a look at as we help to build their business and hopefully help you build yours. It's the benefit of having a mentor on your side. So the next step and the next problem is, who are your competitors? Mini step number six, who are your competitors? In most cases, your product or services will have some type of competition in your market and chosen prospective clients. In order to accomplish your targeted sales success, it is important that you understand in detail your competitor's origin, product offerings, pricing, and weaknesses. Now, where do you, where do you think we can find information out about your competitors? That's right, their website. But that's not the best place. What's the best place to find out about your competitors? Their clients. Go visit some of their clients. Ask them a series of questions. Ask the same questions of each client so you can build a kind of a summary. This will help you understand some of their weaknesses, some of their strengths, some of their issues that are lacking, some of the problems in their product line or their service. These areas of weaknesses are going to be beneficial to you down the road if this is the market you're going to go into. I strongly, strongly advise you to understand what their clients are saying about them and their service and product. Why? Because the business owner will be doing the same thing about your company, product, service, pricing, and people. One of the fastest ways for me to advise you how to find clients and competitors is by your using instructions in my video shown below. Please take a look at it. It's available to you online right now. Finding your competitors is actually a very simple process, provided they're local to your town, county, and region. How do you do that? As I said, you ask your clients. In one of my videos, I explained that after meeting work with Exxon executives out of the Boston area, after we had a nice dinner, we went out to a, a, a yacht boat ride in the Boston Harbor. And I sat with the vice president of Exxon, and, and uh, we talked about some of their problems with their current technology and the issues that they were facing. Basically, they had some equipment they spent a lot of money on to help produce something called computer design and, and computer drawing. Well, they were having a problem getting it to work properly and to print out the necessary documents so the construction can begin. They're already behind and they're just pulling their hair out trying to get these problems solved. Well, what do you think I did? I said, well, I'll tell you what, what if I provide you with some staff, some equipment and software and we understand their software, we can port that information into our computers until you get them fixed and we'll be able to take care of your uh, documents and get them published in record time so that you can get back on track with your construction projects. The Vice President of Exxon was flabbergasted. He said, you could do that? I said, sure. 
How soon do you want them? Well, yesterday would be great. I said, they're on their way. Let's go dock this boat. I'll put it in motion for you. And we did just that. So sometimes you can secure new business by solving issues that ever suppliers are unable to do for whatever reason. Always remember your prospects and clients are people who have deadlines and they want solutions to their businesses and issues and not more runaround excuses or delays. That one decision after dinner and a simple boat ride in the harbor was worth millions of dollars to my company. So take advantage of other people's problems. You're trying to solve your client's issues and if it's somebody else's client and the issues are not solved, they could become your client. It's very important you understand that strategy. Take a close look at the website of the prospective client, at some of the things they are doing in terms of their customers, and see where your product, service, and ideas can enhance and improve their sites. Again, you're trying to improve your relationship with any client, including theirs. If you support the service of their clients, anything you can do to improve their deliverables will greatly increase your position with them and may lead to instant sales. But Jane, I, I'm just trying to sell this widget and it only costs $495. In my opinion, it doesn't matter. People buy solutions, improvements in their work, whatever that is, and finishing the project sooner, and getting products and services to their clients with your product as an enhancement of some type. Use your product or service to improve their position with their clients. You'll be a hero to your client and more sales in your business. If you take a close look at your competitor's website and if pattern continues, they're going to tell you everything about their product and their service and some of their customers and clients or every service that they're trying to sell. They will show you benefits without disclosing the behind the scenes problems and trying to deliver those benefits. Let me explain. In my world of large industrial sales and solutions, there are often something called trade shows where all the competitors in a particular market gather together two or three times a year to show off their wares, their products and services to potential clients who fly in from all over the country or all over the world to understand what your next best product is going to be. You've probably heard it called the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Thousands of people attend that just to see what the latest iPhone, the latest computer, all the latest technology is going to be. Some of it's available to show, some of it won't be available for a couple of months. But take a look at all the latest and greatest gadgets, products, and any literature that's available. Always look for smoke and mirrors. Always look for smoke and mirrors. What? What is that, smoke and mirrors? Well, it's a euphemism meaning that the product or concept that you are watching is not fully ready to be delivered to the client. I've seen computers boxes that just had a screen on the front, wasn't even turned on. No electronics inside, just a mock-up of what it looked like. Many companies are hurrying to show their next generation product even though they're not ready to ship yet. Good examples are TVs, computers, and phones. This type of marketing is called positioning but it has a detrimental unintended consequence. Can you guess what it is? This means that if you show someone the next big thing in your product evolution, you just might delay current quarterly sales as more people begin to wait until the newest model gets delivered. But there's also a problem with that. Some new bottles have bugs in them, meaning they have issues that haven't been fully resolved. If you ever bought a new car or new to you car, drive it for a month and you're gonna find things that you didn't see during the test drive. That's what I mean. When you test drive a new product, a new computer, or a new massive machine, it's going to have some issues. Those are called bugs. And the quickest thing you do is eradicate those by getting something called a beta release or some improvements in the software or hardware. Be very careful when attending and displaying your solutions to the general public, even if it's just a local trade show. You don't want potential clients waiting another six months to order your product that could have been today. The final slide about competitors uses a professional sports metaphor. In the NBA, there are 30 teams. In the NFL, there are 32 teams. All of these teams know all the players and coaches and tactics from other teams that they will most likely will use to gain an advantage over your team. They even have a team of people that dissect videos of their past games. In business, it's a lot like professional sports challenge. In this case, however, you don't have a video of the last five games. Their last 10 customers or the tactics they use to sell to your customer base. 
Although the defensive posture in your part is similar, you have to do more digging to find the details of the company, product, and people behind your competition. That's why, my friend, competitive analysis is so important. The more complicated your product and service becomes, it takes time to secure accurate information and details about your competition. Start by asking their customers. In terms of beating the competition, there is only one secret and only one that ensures that you'll be the most relied upon supplier of equipment, products, and service to all of your potential customers. Here's the secret sauce. Solve the client's needs better. Hello, this is Jessica again, the Communications Director for 3D Business Launch Model. Thank you for listening and watching this section in our 10 mini steps to your home business and the online live discussion. Please contact us at 3DBLM by calling 800-750-8767 or by emailing us at gene at 3-dblm.com. We look forward to hearing from you and want you to learn to succeed in your own home business. Receive a copy of our ultimate guide to your home business by linking to https slash slash gene hyphen erwin dot myakajabi.com forward slash ultimate guide. Please look for all 10 of the 10 steps to your home business on the 3DBLM YouTube channel. Goodbye for now. This is Gene Irwin, the founder of the 3D Business Launch Model, wishing you well in all that you do. I'd be glad to help you in any way that I can. Please get a hold of us. You have the contact information here in these videos. Again, we wish you well in all that you do. This is Gene Irwin. You have a great day.